For nearly two decades, DC's official mayoral photographer has seen it all. Coming up, Latif Mangum steps out from behind the lens for his close up. Washington Full Circle starts right now. Welcome to Washington Full Circle. I'm Furman Patterson, joined by my co-host, Cecily Fernandez. Since 1994, Latif Mangum has been the official photographer for the executive office of the mayor, focusing his lens on five different people who served in that office. Today, we turn our own cameras on the man behind the lens. Latif, thanks so much for joining us. I know you're a busy man. Glad to be here, glad to be here. How does it feel to have all the cameras on you? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think you're enjoying it. Yeah. I, 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 actually, when I'm at uh, the news conferences, uh, the media usually tries to get a little B-roll by turning to me with my <laughs> so still you're used camera. To, yeah, oh. yeah I, I tell people a lot of times I feel like I'm uh, B roll emeritus around here, but uh, you know it works out. And uh, you've been you've been uh, uh, shooting the mayor mayors for so long that I think a lot of times I know uh, when we're out on shoots when we see you that's our cue that the mayor's coming. So <laughs> <laughs> you know. a, a lot of people uh, think that way. Sometimes I uh, go to a birthday party where the mayor is not going to be uh, <laughs> attending, and people will say, "Is the mayor coming?" <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just no, me. No, just <laughs> me. Yeah, you can go out on your own time. <laughs> that's about right, it. that's right. Now, speaking of mayors, you've covered five different mayors. But is it beginning with uh, Marion Barry? No, Sharon Pratt. Sharon Pratt, okay. Yes. Sharon Pratt, Marion mm -hmm. Barry, uh, Adrian, Adrian Fenty, uh, uh, Anthony Williams. Anthony Williams, and, and now uh, Mayor Gray. Gray, yep. Now, how does one get into the job of covering the mayors? Well, um, I was working at D.C. General Hospital mm -hmm. uh, as uh, the uh, audiovisual director for that department, and uh, Sharon Pratt was uh, having a prayer breakfast, and I asked Joe Yodell, could I produce a multimedia piece mm -hmm. at the prayer breakfast, and um, I would, went and presented it to a committee. They approved it. It was shown, and uh, Sharon Pratt, uh, Kelly was then Kelly, was so impressed with it. She brought me to the mayor's office, and that's basically how it started. Actually, a picture of uh, oh, Mayor yeah. Pratt is mm -hmm. in there. What can you tell us about that photo? Well, I mean, she was uh, very photogenic, uh, a great speaker, and uh, a, just a great mayor, a great personality, and I really enjoyed working with her and. Although she, uh, her administration was the shortest mm -hmm. that uh, I had worked for, b because by the time I got to the office, uh, she had just a couple of months left uh, before re-election, and unfortunately, she lost to Marion Barry, so uh, I switched over to Marion Barry, and he kept me. Uh, and that, that was automatic. He said, we want, we want to keep Well, keep I mean, uh, I guess they, like, the fact that I could take a decent <laughs> photograph. Although, um, when I was working for Marion Barry, uh, I thought I was doing pretty good work until he called me one day and said, uh, you gotta get these shadows out of my pictures. Wow. And so uh, I said, uh, yes, sir. So I hung the phone up and I was looking, I was saying, uh, these pictures are okay, about? yeah. <laughs> so um, I sent another set of pictures over to him and I got another call back, and he said, I thought I told you to get rid of those <laughs> shadows. I said, yes, sir, yes, sir. So uh, I started calling my friends, and, and uh, from then on, I was bouncing the flash all over the place to get rid of shadows for him. Wow, well, who, who would think that he'd be concerned with? He would know to well, look at stuff he like was, that. He was uh, concerned about image, like I'm most sure they all mayors. Are. Oh, yeah, they, they all are. So uh, I was glad to oblige him. Uh, and try to make it look good. You know. Speaking of Marion Barry, this fantastic photo there. Yeah, that was in, in his office at uh, One Judiciary Square, mm -hmm. and uh, he, was, uh, he, was, he was a great mayor, uh, very uh, uh, smart, uh, very diligent. Um, he um, had a wide range of people that would come and see him, mm -hmm. but he was uh, very loyal to his constituents and the citizens of the district. And for people who don't um, 
get an inside look at what you do. Can you give people an idea of what are your responsibilities? Because it's not just the kinds of portrait shots we see here. I mean, oh. you're really at every significant event that's happening in the city. So can you give us a, an idea of kind of the day-to-day -day, uh, duties? Well, my job is to um, document city history through the activities of the mayor, primarily. But I can cover other agencies as well. A uh, typical day is to cover the uh, public schedule for the mayor uh, and be there on time, obviously, <laughs> uh, and to um, uh, document whatever event the mayor is uh, attending and try to give it some type of time and place stamp. In other words, mm -hmm. if he's in front of a villain, I want to make sure I get the, the building signage or uh, where it's located, uh, some type of... Uh, Context. Uh, yeah, uh, the context mm -hmm. that people, when they see the photograph, they would understand, oh, that was at this event. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it was, it was very um, uh, a comprehensive approach that I would try to use in every event. Because it's more than just making the mayor look good. You, you also ha are thinking about how will this picture be viewed years from now. Oh, yeah, no doubt about it. Uh, I try to do the absolute best job I can <laughs> whenever I'm taking these pictures. But a lot of times, you know, it's on the run. A lot of times I don't even know what the lighting conditions are. So that's where the experience comes in. As you know, it, it could be um, a room in which you know there, there's a lot of fluorescent lights. So I have to color balance for that and make sure that they look. Well, speaking great. of speaking of light, Latif, like this photo right here of uh, uh, Anthony, Anthony Williams. Williams mm -hmm. I believe that's the um, Reeves Center. Is that yes? It? Yeah. That particular photo was his first news conference um, during 9/11. Ah. And 9/11 was one of those days in which. I didn't realize what was going on until I walked in the office. Someone told me some planes had hit a building in New York. I caught on the television in my office, and you know, it, everything just turned just upside down. Uh, upside yeah. down. Yeah. But I knew that that was going to be a historic day, and my first question to my then communications boss was, where is the mayor? I need to be with him mm -hmm. to document that day. And as I was in his office, uh, on the 11th floor of Judiciary Square, mm -hmm. I looked out over the horizon and I saw the smoke coming up. Mm -hmm. And I didn't realize that it was a Pentagon. And um, it was eerie. I mean, everything was happening. So we got a police car to take us to the Reeves Center. And as soon as he pulled out of the garage at uh, Judiciary Square, we ran into gridlock. Mm -hmm. wow. So we ended up catching the subway. Yeah. up to uh, to the command center. Latif, you got to tell us more about that. You've, the drama is there now. <laughs> We're going to take a short break. Up next, more on the fascinating and often hectic day-to-day -day job of photographing the mayor. Latif Mangum will be right back with Washington Full Circle returns. Welcome back to Washington Full Circle as we look at the fascinating career of photographer Latif Mangum, the man who has been capturing visual history of mayors in office for nearly two decades. How do you do it? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> What's uh, your secret? <laughs> a passion for the job. That's the only thing I can tell you. And this job is, is pretty great. There are some perks, and I think the, the biggest perks um, are the, the people you get to meet. Uh, that's uh, very, very true because I've met uh, so many uh, great people via this job. Uh, first of all, uh, citizens of the city, uh, government workers. Other government country, workers, other government yes. Workers as well. <laughs> and the OJs. And uh, the OJs. Uh, you know, uh, periodically uh, uh, celebrities will come and greet the mayor, and I get to take uh, their picture. And in this particular case, uh, because I'm a real big fan of the OJs, I decided I wanted to get a, a picture <laughs> with them as well. And I'm sort of old school, so right. you understand that. <laughs> and old school go-go to uh, look at this picture right here. Who's that? That is Chuck Brown with Mayor uh, Gray doing Mayor Gray's uh, inauguration. And Mayor Gray was a big fan and supporter of Chuck Brown. And Chuck Brown was a big fan and supporter of Mayor Gray as wow. well. 
so wow. it's nice to capture yeah. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Latif, what, what I want to know is like from, from day to day, sometimes in covering the mayor, you're, you're covering some of the same things over meetings, over and over again. How do you keep it fresh? And how do you keep it fresh for yourself and for the, uh, the viewer of your photography? A lot of people ask me that. It's location, location, <laughs> location. Um, every uh, event has its own unique circumstances. Mm -hmm. The room may be too small. The room, the room may be cavernous, and you have to make sense of it. So, using uh, you know wide-angle lenses, uh, telephotos, that, that type of thing, uh, I try to capture something that's unique and that would be pleasing to view, but have a context to it where people would understand that this is an important event that the mayor is uh, a part of, and which means the citizens have a chance to see exactly what the mayor is doing and what DC government is doing for them. So who's been the most difficult mayor to work for? Well, the way I look at it, uh, I've enjoyed working for all the mayors because they paid me every two weeks and the checks didn't bounce, all right? Uh, so, you know, I mean, each mayor is different and I... Um, and what's the challenge when, when you're starting with a new mayor and you're gonna be with them, you know, 24-7 almost, you know? I mean, what, what is the challenge when you're getting up to speed with knowing what the particular mayor is going to, to want to see? Well, it's like meeting new people. Uh, there's a period in which uh, you, you learn to trust one another. Uh, I, I think I've developed this reputation where um, mayors are comfortable with me because they know that uh, unauthorized pictures are not going to end up on the uh, 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 supermarket tabloids right. and that type of thing. Right. And uh, so there, there, there's a trust element there because as well. Because you have so much access that I would imagine that's, that's key to your job. Oh yeah, you, you have to uh, be very responsible because I see and I hear a lot of things mm -hmm. and it's not necessarily for public consumption and so, but you, you know. But you can tell us here. No, <laughs> no I, I, I keep my mouth shut and this when... this is why, uh, Latif, you have worked for five different mayors. Well, because... I, I, I certainly hope that uh, that's part of the reason because, you know, I, I just really believe in being dedicated to whoever I'm working for and, um, and being professional. Yeah, well, Latif, what I've always been curious about is with uh, covering the mayors, when do you know what's sort of behind the scenes and what's downtime, family time, and when to pull the camera lens back? Uh, downtown, uh, downtime for me or for, for, for the, the mayor? For the mayor. Yeah, yeah. Um, for example, I had just gotten this brand new wide angle lens. I was at a junior high school with uh, Mayor Barry, and he had this little plate of uh, to put a, a food on. And he had piled that thing up so, so <laughs> yeah, much. Yeah, I picture of that either. <laughs> and so I had my new wide angle lens. I said, this is a great shot. <laughs> click, 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 click. And he said, no, don't take no pictures of fellow media. Da, da, da. <laughs> I learned from that point on, do not take pictures of politicians eating. No, no one wow. wants to see it's that. It's simple no. as that, you know. I don't, a lot of times I only have to be told once, that don't do that. And, uh, and when you think about it, you understand. It makes sense. It makes yeah. sense. So, sure. That's now what? what it, oh, we've got a picture up here now. This uh, is the uh, protest, uh, DC statehood protest. Yeah. Uh, that looks like a difficult uh, shot to capture. Tell us about this. Well, one. it was a, it was an interesting day. Um, the, the mayors, well, the mayor and the um, uh, uh, DC vote people were actually protesting on the side of, on the sidewalk in front of the uh, one of the Senate office buildings, and somehow they migrated to the street, and they refused to leave. And um, so I, I figured my job is just to document it, whatever happens, and... Um, to keep clicking. <laughs> to keep clicking, and, and, and so people started getting arrested. The mayor would not move. He was determined, and so they arrested the mayor as well. And that's uh, a unique shot. That, that was my first time uh, wow. uh, documenting mayor a mayor Gray. getting arrested. <laughs> so, uh, but but uh, Mayor Gray uh, and uh, other mayors as well, uh, have been dedicated to getting full voting rights for the citizens of the district. And that's where I, I can imagine you can really sense what your role in history is because obviously years from now uh, people will look back on those photos when they're interested about the, the history of D.C. Uh, mm -hmm. becoming a state perhaps. Well mm -hmm. that's true, that's true and uh, ironically that particular photo um, 
was put in the time capsule uh, in front of the Martin Luther King uh, statue. Oh, that's and so in 50 years, uh, they will take that out and they would see that the mayor and the political leadership at that time was wow. fighting for D.C. Uh, right to vote. Latif, take a look at this picture, the bow tie picture. <laughs> it, it, this is humorous to me. Yeah, what? Especially since Explain this is the this. bow tie mayor. Yeah, this is bow tie that. mayor. <laughs> and you know, unfortunately, I never learned to tie a bow tie. <laughs> so we were at this reception and I was asking the mayor, how do you tie a bow tie? So he takes his bow tie yeah. out and this is how you do it. And I never did get it right. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what's nice about that photo too is I think it captures some of the familiarity that that, that you develop with the mayors we'll you serve. Have, we'll talk more about that in just a second. Uh, we have to take a short break, but we'll be back with more on Latif Bangham, the official photographer of the mayor and the Wilson Building. Today on Washington Full Circle, we're getting our own briefing from DC's mayoral photographer, Latif Mangum, on the secret to taking memorable family photographs as we document the moments of our own lives. But first, we're gonna take a look at a few more photographs. Uh, okay, great. Your specialties of these mm -hmm. famous people. Oh, yeah. uh, give us an idea of this one, Eleanor Holmes Norton and, and the mayor. Yeah, uh, uh, Eleanor Holmes Norton was uh, uh, Congresswoman, Eleanor Holmes Norton was yes. uh, uh, talk with the mayor about a, uh, uh, a speech that he was going to give in a protest of the government shutdown. And uh, she and uh, Mayor Gray have worked closely together, especially on issues dealing with uh, the shutdown and mm -hmm. um, other issues that may, uh, that the Congress has imposed on the city government. Uh, when those two get together, they work hard to try to overturn it or do something <laughs> to exactly. better. Uh, now, we all remember this this face. Yes, Virginia Williams, uh, Mayor Anthony Williams' a mother, wonderful lady. Matter of fact, I learned all the, the, the uh, uh, stanzas of uh, lift every voice and sing in <laughs> and, and summertime <laughs> because I covered her a lot of times and she was uh, just a wonderful lady. A colorful. A very, very and we have very a colorful. videotape library full of <laughs> Virginia, yeah, Virginia Williams yeah, singing. Uh, and that yeah. must be interesting, though, too, because you cover the mayor, but you also, you know, like the the mayor's mother, you have other people that kind of become these these characters in the administration that you are photographing frequently. That's true. Uh, with uh, Marion Barry, I uh, worked and photographed uh, his then wife, uh, Cora Barry, a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, in this particular picture, uh, this was after the tribute to Marion Barry as he was leaving office uh, with Maria Angela, um, I think that's uh, Mayor Ford from, I think, Alabama or Mississippi, mm -hmm. and uh, Dr. Dorothy Height. Uh, uh, an iconic wow. figure mm -hmm. uh, in in uh, in uh, this in the past century. So uh, I was very fortunate to be able to cover and document those uh, great people. Yeah. Uh, we're going to switch to something you promised to do for us is to give, <laughs> give us a few tips on taking some memorable photographs. And what I think is family. fascinating, I wonder, you know, as a, a photographer, do you just dread the holidays when you, when you were with your own family? <laughs> I know you have a large family, beautiful family. Do you ever get tired of, uh, you know, family photos or do you enjoy taking your own personal pictures? Well, um, to be honest with you, uh, I have five children and, um, my wife complains that you never I, don't, take pictures I, of them. <laughs> I don't take enough family pictures. Of course. And she complains when she wants to go out to uh, some big event, uh, she has to sort of drag me along because I cover so many events, uh, formal dinners and that type of thing. Um, when I'm at home, I, I, I really don't feel like going anywhere. <laughs> because, you know, it, it's, uh, you have to, the other thing is you have to be physically fit Mm -hmm. to do this particular type of job. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, keeping up with the mayors, uh, four, maybe five events per day, uh, and carrying equipment. So you, you really have to 
be up on your game, <laughs> and especially with um, the proliferation of uh, cell phone cameras, mm -hmm. everyone has a camera. Yeah, the industry has changed so oh, much. Has. I mean, do you feel a lot of pressure to, I mean, how does a photographer keep up? Because now everybody considers themselves a, a photographer. Well, that, that's very true, but um, you have to have that cutting edge, mm -hmm. something that no one had thought about as far as an angle a composition of uh, that type of thing and so um, I've been lucky enough to stay on top of, of uh, you know this particular career to the point where I'm not that concerned about other photographers or other people with cell phone cameras sure. I mean I, I think it's great I think everyone should take as many pictures and document their life or where they we're at a particular time in their right. life. Even though you're not doing it. No, <laughs> no I, I do it every day. Matter yeah. of fact, I, I tell people when I retire, that will be my litmus test to see if I'm really getting old, <laughs> if I can't say, well, where did I take that picture? That type of thing. So but, what tips do you have for us? I know, Furman, you, you enjoy taking yeah, photos. Yeah, I, I do. And here's one question. It's like taking pictures of a family, especially family and friends, mm -hmm. is you want to take a candid shot. Mm -hmm. And like most of those photographs, you're capturing the moment. That's what I want to do sometimes. And my family is saying, no, no, wait a minute. I got to pose. I got no. Don't shoot me from here. Don't do. <laughs> How do you get what you want and still? Well, get you want to be want. as unobtrusive as possible. Yeah. So you use a long lens if you just want to ah. catch candid shots, and that way you're not in a person's face, and you can stand at the side of a uh, you know a couple of feet away, and as they're talking, you can snap away that type of thing. Um, and if you want the group shots, you use the wider angle lenses mm -hmm. uh, or lens or setting in, in your camera if you have that type of capability so you can get everybody in. Try to utilize window light and have people facing the window and that way you don't have to use a flash because flash can give you a harsh light if you mm -hmm. don't bounce it off a ceiling. Right. And when you bounce it off a ceiling, make sure it's a gray or a white ceiling because if it's a green ceiling, you're going to get green tint. Right, when right. If it's you yellow ceiling, you get a <laughs> yellow tint. So um, those are just some of the little tips that uh, anyone could use to take And, some and there is tips. a limit to what Photoshop can do, which I've learned. I haven't found that limit yet. Yeah, really? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I learned Photoshop uh, early and I used Lightroom. I don't know if we could use, you know, use a commercial plug doing this thing, but, <laughs> but uh, they are great tools to um, to help enhance the, in, enhance the yes. image. Yeah, sure, wow. sure. Yeah, what I'm always wondering about is, is the light, and you mentioned it, you know, because you, you want to take this great picture, but it's not light enough. So, Well, you know, it, it, well, with Photoshop um, or that type of program, uh, if you're a little overexposed, you can tone it down, underexposed, you can bring it up a little bit, and yeah. so, you know, it's a big Help. There you go. Uh, and do you well, think we, uh, I'm, well, we've run out of time. I'm oh, sorry. No. It's fascinating talking forever. with you. Yeah, I know. Thank you, thank you so much for joining <laughs> us. All right. Glad to be here. That's it for now. Thanks uh, to photographer extraordinaire Latif Mangum for letting us zoom in on his career and to my co host Cecily Fernandez. And thanks to you at home for watching. We'll see you again next time.